welcome back. We are back at it again with another AK video. This time we're going to be doing a quick heat treat. Um, so if you buy a receiver from like a factory, a uh, factory made AK, typically what they're going to do is a full heat treat. They're going to put the receiver in a kiln, heat it up, cool it off, make sure everything's hardened, and then temper it. Um, I don't have that here, I don't have a kiln here, so what we're going to do instead is we are going to do a spot heat treat. We're going to heat the uh, one at a time, heat up the pinholes on both sides um, and the ejector in the inside, one, one piece at a time. Heat them up till they're cherry red, dip it in water to quench it, um, and we'll do all five pieces like that, and then we're gonna heat everything up to kind of a dull gray uh, you want it to be about, I don't know, six, 700 degrees. Um, so that can all be done at the same time and then let it cool to room temperature on its own. That will temper it. The heat treat with the quench will make it really hard, but really brittle. The tempering where you heat it up and cool it back down will then relieve some of that brittle stresses that are in the metal from heat treating and quenching. Um, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. What we're gonna use for this one, um, Map gas or propane is your friend here. Both will get it typically hot enough. Propane takes a little bit longer. Map is fairly hot, so it'll get it to about cherry red pretty quickly. Um, you can get these from Home Depot, so it's pretty easy. Go ahead and get one of these. Like I said, heat it up cherry red, quench them one at a time, heat everything up till it's dull gray, let it all cool down to room temperature on its own, which will take a little bit of time, and you're done. The whole process is done, and then we finally get to move on to populating the barrel. So. Let's bring you in and get started on heating one of these up. All right, so we're going to temper. Uh, we'll start with the back hole, just because I feel like it. Um, we got our map gas. I'm running pretty low on map gas, so of course it's gonna run out on me during this. Watch me knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't, but we're gonna see what we can do. So we're gonna get this hole here, red, red hot. So that's the bluish you're looking for when you are doing the temper. We want to go hotter than that for the quench. We want it sort of an orangey cherry color. We're almost there. Almost. See how it's starting to get up to temperature? I believe you're looking for like 1200 degrees. See, it's almost up to temp. Tiny bit more. And then we're gonna dunk it. All right, take it straight into your water. One is done. One down. Let's go for our second. And the nice thing about doing a water quench instead of an oil quench is you can see how much quicker I can just go back to heating. If you do an oil quench, it will work just fine. Um, but <laughs> you have to clean everything off, clean it with solvent and everything so you don't light it on fire. Water quench works a little bit easier. See, that's that, again, that's that dull gray you're looking for when you go for the, uh, the temper. So we gotta get a little hotter than that. And it's getting there. to temp. It's starting to turn nice and red. Try to get a little more on the bottom. So everything on this is going to act like a giant heat sink. So you're trying to get it nice and evenly cherry red. And we're going to go with that. Into the quench. All right. Cool off and onto the other side. 
And for this next. And remember these bluing marks that we're putting on it, not a really big deal. Um, when we go to do a, we're probably gonna end up doing a Cerakote job on this. Um, when we go to do that, we're gonna sandblast this whole thing and uh, we'll get rid of all this bluing, all the, the chatter marks, all the bluing, all that will go. So it's not, a, not too big of a deal. You can hear the water on the inside starting to heat up and, and pop and boil out. Let's get into temp soon. This one you can see a lot easier. Turn starting to turn cherry red. Almost there. Almost, almost, almost. We're gonna quench. All right. One more hole. And then we're gonna go. Uh, hopefully, I'm not sure if you guys can see on the camera. We're gonna do the uh, the um, extractor. I'm sorry, ejector. I always want to say extractor. Turn into straw, then a blue, then a brown, then a gray, and slowly we'll bring it up to red. And the good thing, one good thing about using MAP versus using something like an oxyacetylene torch is MAP doesn't run as hot oxygen. If you're not careful, you're gonna burn right through this, this little bit of sheet steel. So uh, MAP gas isn't super, super hot, but it's hot enough to bring this up to temp quickly. I'm trying to do circles around it, if you can't tell. It probably looks like I'm just having a seizure. But I'm, tr I'm trying to do nice circles so it gets evenly heated. We're almost to temp. And we'll quench. All right, quench those off, and you got a nice blued receiver now. Uh, so last thing we're gonna do, not sure, still in, so good. We're gonna do the ejector on the side. So we'll go ahead and get the ejector nice and red hot. I do without getting everything done. So you can see it's turned a nice dull gray. We've got to take it from that dull gray to the next step, which is a good cherry red. Which we're almost there. I can see it's starting to change on the tip. I think I'm running out of gas. I'm in very long gas. Let's see if we can get this done before I run out. Almost there. And we quench. Everything should be good and hard now. So kind of our last step here, we're gonna go one thing at a time. I'm gonna chalk it up like this so I can see. We're gonna bring these up to a dull gray. We don't want them red hot because we don't want them to lose their temper. 
and bring them up to a dull gray and let them uh, let them cool naturally. And that'll relieve some of that stress, that internal stress. I should do that one. Let's do this one. Go, that was good. We do this next. Good. Sorry, you guys are getting to look at my face instead of the. Here, we'll do this instead so you guys can see it. Kind of boring. Not like being able to see anything. This is kind of the hardest thing because you're not, it's easy when you're looking for a bright red. It's kind of hard to tell what you're looking for when you're looking for a dull gray. And right about there, you see the gray starting to spread. Do the same over to here. And you can see that gray starting to set in there. And that's it. You can see the two holes where the or the two spots where that gray starts to set in. That's pretty much it. We now let it cool until it's room temperature. That will temper the steel back down so it's it's hard but not brittle. Um, and we're ready after this to move on to populating the barrel. Finally, we're gonna start populating the barrel. That's pretty much it. Um, heat treating and tempering is pretty simple. If you got map gas and a little bit of water. Um, if you really want to go hardcore, you can also do it with oil. I, the first AK I ever built, I did an oil quench on it, but uh, it's just a lot more messy than you have to clean it and degrease it, and it's a pain in the butt. So water is a lot easier, and it works just as well. Um, once everything's heat treated, I know it looks ugly right now because you can see you know, all the heat treat marks and, and the hardening. And We're going to sandblast it, paint it. It's going to look great. Don't worry about that. Our next part of the project, finally and pretty close to our last, is populating the barrel. We're gonna get the, uh, the rear block on, the front sight block, and um, this barrel didn't come with a gas block hole, so we're gonna end up drilling our own gas block. We'll probably do a 90 degree. Um, we'll mark it and do a 90 instead of doing a 45, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. If you guys like this sort of content, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to see you subscribe. We're going to be working on stuff like this. This is the sort of crap that we get up to. So if you want to see more of this, let me know. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.